Hello audience. Today we will discuss about the electromagnetic compatibility in electric vehicles for sources of EMI and guidelines to reduce EMI. When current passes through a conductor it creates electromagnetic fields and almost all electronic devices like TVs, washing machines, induction stove, traffic lights, mobile phones, ATMs and laptops etc. will emit the electromagnetic fields. Fossil fueled vehicles also suffer from electromagnetic interference EMI. The ignition system, starter motor and switches cause broadband EMI and electronic devices cause narrowband EMI. But as compared to internal combustion engine vehicles, electric vehicles are combination of various subsystems and electronic components like battery, BMS, DC to DC converter, inverter, electric motor, high power cables distributed around the vehicle and chargers, all these are working at high power and frequency levels which causes the emission of high level low frequency EMI. If we observe the power and the voltage ratings of available electric vehicles, power ratings are between few tens of kW to hundreds of kW whereas voltage ratings are in hundreds of volts so that current levels will be in hundreds of amperes which causes stronger magnetic fields. Let consider an electric vehicle with 100 kW electric drive operating at 400 volts means it is having current of 250 A, which creates a strong magnetic field. While designing the vehicle we have to assess electromagnetic compatibility EMC, of all these subsystems and components to ensure components safety along with living beings safety. Now we will discuss further on. Sources of Electromagnetic Interference EMI, in electric vehicles Power converters are known to be the main source of electromagnetic interference within electric drive systems. These are having high-speed switching device, for example conventional insulated gate bipolar transistors IGBT, work at frequencies ranging from 2 to 20 kHz and fast IGBTs can work up to 50 kHz and silicon carbide MOSFETs can even work frequencies above 150 kHz. Electric motors which are operating at high power levels causes electromagnetic emissions and it act as path for a noise through its impedance. And this impedance changes as a function of frequency. As electric motor, Drives use power inverters with high speed pulse width modulation switching operation. Surge voltages are occurring at the motor terminals, which cause the radiated electromagnetic noise. And the shaft current may cause damage of motor bearings and malfunction of the vehicle controller. As traction batteries are distributed, the currents in the batteries and in the interconnectors become a significant source for EMF emission and these are main part of the path for EMI. Shielded and unshielded cables carrying high level current between various subsystems like battery to power converter, power converter to motor etc., in the electric vehicle causes stronger magnetic fields. As available space in electric vehicle for wiring harness is limited, High voltage and low voltage cables are placed near to each other causes electromagnetic interference between them. The battery chargers and the wireless charging facilities are the major external EMI sources apart from electric vehicles internal EMI source. When wireless power technology applied to charge the electric vehicle, a strong magnetic field in the range of several tens to hundreds of khz produces to transfer several kws to tens of kws of power. Now let us see how EMI will impact on electric vehicle electronic components. Nowadays with the advancement in technology, automobiles contain more electronic components and systems for proper operation and reliability. If we see the electric vehicle, Architecture large amount of electrical and electronic systems placed into a confined space. This causes electromagnetic interference or crosstalk between these systems. If EMC not maintained properly these systems may malfunction or even may fail to operate. EMC Standards for Electric Vehicles Most of the automotive EMC standards are set by 
the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, the International Standards Organization, ISO, the International Electrotechnical Committee, IEC, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Standards Association, IEEE, the European Community, EC, and the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, UNECE. Now we understand the international standards applicable for electric vehicles, let us see limits to exposure of electromagnetic fields to humans. Electric vehicles produce non-ionizing electromagnetic radiations, which do not affect on human health for short time exposure. But for long time exposure if the radiated magnetic field is more than the standard limits, it affects human health. So, while designing electric vehicle the hazards with magnetic field exposure must be taken into account. Electromagnetic exposure to passengers affects by different configurations, power levels and topologies of electric vehicle like front wheel drive or rear wheel drive battery placement and the distance between power equipment to the passengers etc. By considering possible harmful effects of human exposure to electromagnetic fields international organizations, including the World Health Organization WHO, and the International Commission for Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection ICNIRP, EU Directives i.e. have specified limits to maximum permissible magnetic field exposure to public. The table showing the maximum permissible magnetic field levels to general public as per IE standard. Occupational means people who are exposed to EMF while doing their regular job activities. General public means the rest of public other than occupational exposed to electromagnetic fields. Orientation values have no adverse health effect under normal working conditions and for persons not having any active implanted medical device or being pregnant. These are corresponds to field strength. Action value causes some effects exposed to these levels. These are corresponds to the maximum directly measurable field. Basically, action value is higher than orientation value. Occupational public exposure values are higher than those for the general public exposure level. Laboratory tests and road tests are performed on electric vehicle to assess EMC. These tests consist emissions, susceptibility and immunity tests. Laboratory tests are done to characterize the magnetic field emissions and susceptibility from all of the onboard electrical equipment in an EMC test chamber. These chambers are anechoic and reverberation types. For conducted emission testing, transducers include the Line Impedance Stabilization Network LASN, or Artificial Mains Network AMN, is used. For radiated emission testing, antennas are used as transducers. Radiated emissions are measured in all directions around the device under test DUT. Susceptibility testing uses high-powered source of RF electromagnetic energy and a radiating antenna to direct the electromagnetic energy to the DUT. While doing test on electric vehicle except the device under test DUT, everything will be switched off and then the magnetic field will be measured. Outside tests are done in a real world on road driving conditions. In these tests the vehicle under test need to drive with maximum acceleration and deceleration to ensure maximum current during traction and regenerative braking. These tests will be performed on straight road where the magnetic fields due to earth is constant and in some cases on steep slope roads. While doing on road tests we have to identify the external magnetic perturbations from external sources like railway lines manhole covers and other cars, power distribution equipment, high voltage transmission lines and power transformers. We are well versed about the electric vehicle system. Now we will discuss about the some design guidelines for better electromagnetic compatibility and to lower the electromagnetic interference. DC cables carrying high currents should be made in twisted form so that the current in this cable flow in opposite direction results in minimization of electromotive force emission. 
three phase AC cables should be twisted and need to place as close as possible to minimize electromotive force emissions from them. Moreover, all these power cables need to place as far away as possible from passenger seat region. And these connections should not form a loop. If the distance between passenger seats and cable is less than 200 mm, shielding must be adopted. Motors need to be placed farther away from passenger seat area and the rotation axis of motor should not point towards passenger seat area. As steel has better shielding effect, if weight permits instead of aluminum, steel metal housing need to be used for motor. If the distance between the motor and passenger seat area is less than 500 mm, shielding like steel plate need to be employed between the motor and passenger seat area. Motor housing should be grounded to chassis properly to minimize any electrical potential. To minimize the cable length between the inverter and motor they mounted as close as possible to each other. To suppress the surge voltage, shaft current and radiated noise and emmy noise controller should be attached to the motor terminals. A digital active EMI filter needs to be integrated into the digital controller of a DC to DC converter to charge the low voltage battery and to provide significant EMI attenuation. To suppress the EMI during wireless charging, resonant reactive shielding has been developed. Here the leakage magnetic field passes through the resonant reactive shield coils in such a way that the induced electromotive force in each shield coil can cancel the incident electromotive force and the magnetic field leakage can be effectively suppressed without consuming additional power. Conductive Shielding Magnetic shielding and active shielding technologies have been developed to shield the electromagnetic field emission from the wireless power transfer system. An EMI noise controller has been developed for electric vehicles, which is attached on the motor terminals to suppress the surge voltage, shaft current and radiated noise. We Croydon Services Private Limited will design an electric vehicle solutions for better electromagnetic compatibility as per international standards, we discussed earlier. You can mail us your requirement on info at croydonservice.com. Or visit our website www.proteonservice.com. Please like. Share and subscribe to our channel to get more info around about the electromagnetic compatibility solutions. Thank you.